Hi there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great, and Jim Chapin from the USA, three-time Olympian, back in 1976 in the Wayback Machine here with the on Eagle Storholt, the legendary Norwegian all-arounder, who unfortunately fell entering the backstretch in this race. But several things we can learn from this. First of all, how to get a start off the line. Uh, Jim was not called back, therefore it was legal, but he got a great opener. Only person under 10 seconds, 9.98 .9 in 1976, just an amazing opener and several other things we can learn from this race. So Jim was actually coached by the Norwegian Finn Halverson, who went on for many, many decades as a great coach. And at this time in the early 70s, Jim would like sleep under his desk in Norway to learn how to skate. So very analytical skater, you know, really deconstructing his own skating and putting it back together to be a good sprinter. And let's look at this. He's a pure twitch skater. Opener is amazing. And let's take a look. So you can just see how he gets off the line. So listen closely for the gun. <laughs> it's kind of after he left. But there's a lot of echo in Innsbruck. There's a lot of mountains around there. So, But the key thing to see is no matter what, happened at the start. Look at this. Just absolutely beautiful skating. And you gotta love the beard too. Um, great sitting position. Great working against one skate. Finn Halverson, one of those guys, focus on the skate in the ice. Um, and just great drive forward. So incredible. And here, here he comes like, look at, almost like Pete Mueller at the time. Really great hip flexibility, always in the weight room, always working on flexibility, and you can just see that in this stride because you can't do that unless you can kind of leave that hip behind. It's different than with the clap and get on this skate, and that's just really great stretch right there. So check out this opening time for 1976, 9.98, amazing. So great entry into this turn, obviously. Another fun thing about these old days is there was actually a crowd in the stands and they were like cheering everybody on. There goes Storholt. But this is a great crowd to skate in front of, you know. So let's look at Jim's straightaway. Does a lot of things right. Obviously, sitting position is good. Numbers are in the way here. He improved over time. He was only 20 here. So again, not, not uh, and coming from indoor or short track at that time, um, and pack style, not the greatest technician on the backstretch with his knee drive. You can see it's out, but he does a good job of getting out over it and putting a lot of pressure right away on it. So, better that way. Left knee coming in better. Right knee a little wide, but again, you're trying to turn things over and he's a sprinter and I believe over time Improved technically, but anyway, this is just a great race to see a 20-year-old American get top 10 in this. Dan Nimmerfall got third. Pete Mueller got fifth. But I wanted to focus on Jim Chapin for his opener, and it's just really strong. And what can we learn about and go all the way through the line? And here, we have to see this one last thing here. First of all, look at the beard. The scoreboard's way in back, so it's it's opposite when you finish a 500 or any race, except for, yeah, even 1,000. you got to turn around and look. But this is what I'm going to show you, too. I mean, hair all the way down the back. He could be in a Leonard Skinner video in 1976, you know. So, lots of attitude, lots of talent, lots of twitch. And a great opener, 9.98 in 1976, something we can all learn from. So sit down, push hard, have one skate on the ice, drive yourself forward. It'll never fail. Hope you enjoyed this. Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. See you next time.